Hey guys, how's it going? Um, look at my house, look at my living room. I'm so excited. We painted it gray. It's not that brown color, tannish brown color anymore. I'm so excited. So last year we did the kitchen. This year we're going to do the living room. I'm hoping my husband will get motivated to do my hallway when you walk in. Like, um, right in that area. But we'll see. Because he... He's actually back to work today, um, so I don't know if he would want to do anything on his days off, but we still have to put the flooring in. Uh, right now, it's just all subflooring, and we still have to put the molding and stuff back on. But anyway, I know you guys don't want to hear anything about my house. You want to hear about what went on this week, and this week has been an awesome week. Now... This keto, there's a lot of people that don't believe in it. There's a lot of people that are against it or say kind of bad things about it, supposedly. But um, with me doing my lot of doing my research, there's a lot of people that um, that are not really. Well, there's not a lot of really a lot of information yet. I know it's semi new. I mean, it's been out for a few years. Uh, a lot of people just haven't caught on or don't wish to catch on. So that's fine. I am not, you know, a doctor or anything like that. So this is what I'm doing as I'm doing it for myself. And the main reason is because you guys, for a whole week that I've done this, I have not had one single gas pain, one single stomach pain. I have not broke out in a rash anywhere. Um, no pains whatsoever and to me that is totally amazing because for 10 years I mean yeah since for a little over 10 years I have been suffering with this pain in my stomach and these rashes almost every single day and to not have that is such a relief. I mean, like, I almost want to cry. Sorry, guys. Interruptions. Us people keep calling on my phone, and Max keeps... <sighs> you hear him back there? He keeps whining. So anyway, like I said, um, I've had no problems uh, with anything. And to me, if anything, this is the reason why I am doing it. It's because I am not suffering from anything. You know, I... The first couple days, I'm like, wait a minute, you know, it'll kick in or something will happen. But it's been a whole week and nothing, no rash, no nothing. I've been eating eggs every single day, um, my dairy every day, like cheeses and stuff. And I haven't, I still keep that low. You know, I'm not like full blown like, no, but I have been trying some recipes out and stuff. So I am so stoked, you guys. So I know, too, from dieting and doing stuff my whole entire life, like when you first start something and your body switches, you know you're going to lose water weight. Fine. Totally understandable. But this week, since I started, I've lost six pounds. Exactly. Exactly six pounds. Guys, six pounds. If it's all water weight, Bye-bye, water weight. <laughs> and then I lost a total of nine inches, you guys. So I, okay, so after doing all this research, I noticed that a lot of people say, um, you know, weighing is good, but your best bet is to go ahead and do measurements because there will be a, there will be a time where you won't lose or you'll lose a little bit, but the inches are going to be down. And you're going to be like, what? So I did do that. And um, I did, you know, like my left side of my leg and arm, my right side of my leg and my arm, and um, my bust area, my natural waist area, my belly button, and my hips. So my middle region is really where I carry most of my weight at. Um, so anyway, my left arm, I lost one2 inches. My right arm, I lost one inch. 
My left leg, I lost a half an inch. And my right leg, I lost a half an inch. And then my bust, I lost one inch. My natural waistline, I lost one inch. Um, across my belly button area, I lost two inches. And my hips, I lost uh, one and a half. So I'm in total amazement. Um, it's funny uh, when I did my measurements because I'm, I don't know if you guys can see, I don't have any that you can see, but I have freckles. So where I need to um, measure, it's funny because I have, sorry guys, I'm like itching right here. I don't know if it's my hair that keeps, oh, my face, I'm just itchy. This hair is hitting me and it's making me itch. Anyway, there's areas where I know I, I put the tape measure across and I know that's where um, I need to measure. So, you know, it would be very accurate these next few weeks for me doing it. Um, so, anyway, I love it. I stay within my um, carb limitations, uh, my fats, and my proteins. I track everything on my fitness pal. And, you know, I just set my macros to where it needs to be um, to be able to do this plan and I stay within my range. I try to incorporate a lot of good healthy fats. You know me, I don't eat bacon, I don't eat any type of pork, I don't eat ham or sausage, stuff like that. So a lot of the stuff that I do eat already is kind of lean meats but then I'll add stuff to it to make it a little bit more um, fattier like, you know, like coconut oil and um, olive oil and stuff like that. Uh, what else, you guys? I have not um, had anything type of flu. They say that when you do this, you get what's called the keto flu. And, you know, you'll feel like nauseous and sick and headache and all this stuff. I have been drinking tons of electrolytes with my light salt for the potassium for the sodium and stuff and I've been keeping up on my water I've been keeping up on all that stuff because I've done my research and they say you know you should keep up with your electrolytes um, during this transition transition stage your body is going from burning carbs to now burning fat so when it makes that switch your whole body is doing this transition that's why you feel like you're getting this cold and you know all this stuff and you're losing tons of um, water because carbs essentially suck in all the water and suck in all this stuff and the you know there's like a whole chemistry behind it it's a whole science thing behind it so that's fine at first I was just like man is this you know is this happening am I Am I go is my body going through ketosis? I don't know. Um, I do have the strips, but I bought them a long, long time ago. I don't know if I'm going to use them. I don't know if I, you know, I really don't want to get into all that. I don't feel like I necessarily need to do that. This is just my first week. I'm not a doctor. I'm not anything like that. I'm just going off all the research that I've been doing on YouTube, online. Also, too, with on YouTube... There's a girl that I had found, and her name is Kayla, or her channel is Kayla Does Keto. And if you just see her journey from the time that she started until now, just recently, she started last year, I want to say like August, maybe, July or August, up until now, it's just, it's really amazing. And, <clears throat> I mean, there's a lot of people now that I, I watch and her journey is so much similar to mine, or will be, hopefully. <laughs> because, like, we're the same height. We had the same, you know, well, she's had stomach issues. And she's built kind of like me. So, like, we weigh the same, like, when she first started. So, it's, like, a lot of little similarities. And now she's down <coughs> a ton of weight. But if you guys want to go check her out, I'll see if I can leave her link below. Um, but. Yeah, but that's it, you guys. It's been a good week. Um, I just a lot of energy, not having any cravings, 
and feeling good. So I'm really excited to see what week two brings. You know, week one was fantastic. Let's see what week two brings. Um, and that's it. If you guys want to know any more information, um, just leave your questions below and maybe I'll do another video. Oh, uh, so we'll see what's going on the second week. I'm so excited. Okay. Well, I need to hurry up and go because my husband called and said they were on their way. So I want to hurry up and do some things before they walk in the door. But with that being said, I hope you guys have a good day and a good week and I'll talk to you later.